Hi, I'm James Norton, Chow.com Super Taster, and I'm here today to talk about a topic that is near and dear to my heart. That's Christmas cookies. On that front, make your own Christmas cookies. It's a little bit of work, but it's a time of year where that sort of thing is, you know, it's exactly right. That's what you should be spending your time on, sharing that kind of goodness with your friends, your family, maybe even your coworkers. It kind of depends where you work, how you feel about them. Uh, if you can't do that, let me say number two, find a good local bakery uh, and support them. They have Christmas cookies, buy them there. I bet they're delicious. Little butter cookies and, you know, powdered sugar, whatever, puffs. It's, you know, local bakery, great option. Sorry, I, I used the gong sound back in uh, the eggnog video last week and I'm just still really into it. It's, I mean, it's a gong, it sounds great. Now let's say for some reason you don't have the time and energy to make your own cookies and there's not a good local bakery or you can't get to one or what have you. All you can do is get to the grocery store. I thought I'd tackle a few basically pre-made Christmas cookie options that you might try and and give an opinion on how they turned out. So, so let's start with Nestle Toll House Christmas Swirled Mini Brownie Bites. It's a tolerably good brownie. Um, despite the colorfulness of the chips, I don't know how much it really relates to Christmas. Certainly very easy to prepare, only a couple bucks, so it's affordable. Um, you know, I'm not enthusiastic about this. I told you my, my predilections and biases right at the beginning of this video. But if you're going to go to the store and just phone it in, oh, this is okay. This is maybe not the worst way to go. I'll give it one of these sideways thumb things. Now, the next option I looked at was the Pillsbury ready to bake snowman shape cookies not a fan i mean it's just it's just sugary which i guess it's a sugar cookie what do you expect what i do expect is a little more crunch a little more texture there's no reason why they couldn't have put uh, another flavor or sprinkles or something on this to kind of dress it up uh, i like the snowman face it does suggest the holiday but i would never ever eat these again i'll give them a you know they look like snowmen that's so not a complete thumbs down, most of a thumbs down for these. Finally, last option I have. I went to the Rainbow, and they've got something called Loft House. Uh, delicious cookies, holiday cookie party tray. Eight bucks, but you know, they're all finished. There's a variety of them. They're very pretty. I think it's actually a reasonable price. Wreath. They're not bad. I mean, really, the Loft House cookies, the spice cookie has a little bit of spice flavor to it. The frosting is not overly sweet. It's not sickening in any way. Buy a tray of cookies at the grocery store before you do the Pillsbury or, or uh, Nestle route. I would say uh, most of a thumbs up for the uh, Loft House tray of cookies. That's all I got. Have fun making cookies with your family from scratch. If you need a recipe, hit me up on Facebook. Actually, I posted my gingerbread cookie recipe there. If you don't already follow me on YouTube, please do. Um, I'm Chow.com Super Taster James Norton. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll be back Wednesday with more food.